Hi, I'm Phil Porras. Here's a quick tech update from Equinox. In addition to our full speed sprint toward advancing the state of cloud workload security management, we're also deep into investigations of how our solutions can apply to some really interesting edge to cloud use cases. Here, I'll give a quick discussion of what Equinox is exploring in the emerging but extremely important domain of the 5G Open RAN ecosystem. Spearheaded by ORAN are a variety of innovations being pursued within the 5G community, including the adoption of software-defined concepts within the Radio Access Network, or RAN. ORAN's Open 5G RAN initiative is being designed with open interfaces, vendor neutrality, and embraces modern cloud scalable orchestration of the control and management functions. The goal is to allow 5G RAN operators to deploy administrative control functions as pluggable applications to provide radio resource management, performance, and QoS, policy generation, and for managing the radio spectrum, users, and devices right at the 5G edge. One open RAN reference implementation that we're studying is the ONF's ORAN compliant SD-RAN. 5G RAN architectures begin at the radio unit, which transforms the radio signals to and from physical packets, and it controls the broadcast mobile link that is shared by the many devices that connect through it. Distribution units, or DUs, are located at the cell site. They're latency sensitive and manage the radio packet traffic between the RUs and the frontal link. There's a central unit, or CU, that is decomposed into the CUU, which manages the user traffic, and the CUC, which processes mobile control traffic from the mobile core and oversees near real-time mobile link control. Finally, and most interesting for our purposes, the Open RAN design introduces software-defined programmability into the RAN. Basically, the previously vendor-specific control and management functions are now separated and modularized as applications that are managed by a platform called the RAN Intelligent Controller, or RIC. The near-real-time RIC hosts apps that manage the DU and CU operations, and the non-real-time RIC handles configuration and instructions that can take place in non-real-time. The RAN Intelligent Controller is designed to run the control and management applications that govern 5G cell operations. These applications are highly business critical and raise several interesting considerations for security, which our team is looking to address. But to explain our objectives, I should give you a bit more background about the RIC. The RIC enables operators to deploy RAN control and policy generation, such as for radio management, mobility management, resource control, and performance optimizations as applications, or XApps. XApps can be authored and shared by RAN developers in a vendor-neutral manner. For the ONF SD RAN implementation, the near real-time RIC has been developed using MicroOnos, based on a microservice architecture using Kubernetes, providing XAP workloads with multi-cluster dynamic scalability. However, ONF's approach also provides a range of interesting virtual workload management challenges regarding the stability and security of deployed XAPs. And it's here within the RIC that we're exploring the use of Acunox virtual workload security services. So let's break down the idea, at least for this exploratory phase. Within the ONF's latest micro-ONOS-based RIC, Acunox can introduce a range of XApp runtime security protections to produce a zero-trust security posture for the critical apps that constitute the 5G RAN control layer. We'd like to explore the concept of a zero-trust security posture within the RIC, where XApps would operate with least privilege, strong identities, data flow privacy, appropriate access permissions, and runtime monitoring and policy enforcement to ensure compliance with an applicable set of security standards. We're looking to understand what RIC internal XAP specific security policies are necessary, produce RAN security policy templates, and auto-generate least privileged policies that we can enforce during XAP runtime. We're also interested in integrating strong layer seven identity management, providing end-to-end -end authentication, encryption, authorization, and audit, spanning all the interactions between the XAPs, E2 services, and their backend services. We'd like to integrate robust and scalable runtime monitoring to detect failures, subversions, policy violations, and illicit behavior that might arise during XAP runtime. Finally, we can see high value in being able to integrate the logs and alerts that our security services produce into common security operations center tooling, including SIM and SOAR platforms. We envision, for example, the ability to display and manage the RIC's entire runtime security posture, its alerts, and security relevant logs. At Equinox, we've been developing all of these key security services for virtual application management inside Kubernetes stacks, VMs, and bare metal. Within the ONF's SD-RAN Kubernetes-based microservice architecture, we see the RIC as an ideal platform to insert these security services 
and to show how to enforce a critical base set of 5G RAN security policies within the mobile core. The work I'm describing here is early stage, and our learning is ongoing. If you have any questions, want a bit more detail, or have an interest in collaborating, feel free to reach out to us.